All right, uh, I'm going to run through the steps for uh, the first couple of days of just general survival on uh, using the current mods on my server. Uh, this is just going to be to uh, show you how to get some basic uh, machines early on and just what you know just the general fundamentals uh, let's see doesn't look like I started off in a very good place uh, the first thing you need to do when you start is find you're gonna need a good uh, rubber tree source because most of the machines you're gonna build with industrial craft are going to use rubber wire uh, rubber insulated uh, or insulated copper wire so I'm gonna I'm collecting some food before I run off uh, but typically you can find the rubber trees readily <clears throat> in swampland so that's what I'm gonna be looking for but unfortunately it looks like I'm on an island of sorts so that might make things a little difficult we'll see what we can find though <clears throat> All right. There, there's a slight chance I'll be able to find some rubber trees in this snow biome over here too, but it's less likely than finding them in the swamp. I'll try it out though just to see if I can get anywhere, although this hillside isn't working very well with me. Damn it. All right. I see a bunch of fir trees, no saplings, yet. or no, uh, no rubber wood yet. Let's keep heading this way. Wow, this place is ridiculous. Alright. Doesn't look like there's any so far. A lot of pigs, though. Uh, when you're searching for the swamp, another thing you'll probably want to pick up along the way is uh, wool, if you can find it, because it's nice to have a bed as early as possible. If you're playing on the server, it might not be as beneficial, but if you're the only one on the server, you can, you know, you can sleep and get the game to set itself back to day. Uh, or you can try convincing the other people on the server to sleep as well. That's not too difficult. Normally. Uh, let's see. Still looking for the rubber tree. Uh, as a note, like the uh, like the vid uh, the level title has indicated, I'm gonna try to get as far as possible in three days in game. Although at this rate, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get very far unless I find those mysterious rubber trees miraculously. Oh, a sheep. Alright, one. Two. And three. Alright, um. Yeah. Maybe. The, uh, there might be. S sometimes rubber trees will here in the plains. I highly doubt that's a rubber tree over there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Off in the distance there. Those are rubber trees. That's exactly what we're looking for. So. And let's see if I hit that. Yeah. We'll see what biome that happens to be in. Extreme Hills. Alright. 
So, this looks like a good place to settle down. It's got some birch trees, which are my favorites for tree farming. And then it's got the rubber trees, which are a necessity for what we're doing right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect a couple of trees worth of, you know, birch logs and then, whoops, convert those. Well, I'll I'll use those to uh build tools and stuff that I can use to dig during the night. I don't really plan on sleeping during this three-day uh, game. <clears throat> I might, though. We'll see. Alright, uh, I'm going to s find a place... Uh, I'm gonna... Actually, I'll just build it right here, lakeside. Another... Uh, one of the other good things for just basic survival, regardless of whether you're playing vanilla Minecraft or not, is you know, worrying about food early on. Obviously I've already got seven pork chops, so I'm set, but another thing you can do is break some grass and collect some seeds. That seed I just collected was a flax seed, which will actually be somewhat useful later on too. But I'll just, uh, I guess I'll just plant those two. That I, well, I'll break this stuff and see what I get. I'll try to get three wheat seeds. There we go. And maybe another flax seed. Or maybe not. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up right here on the lake side to my left. Once I'm done cutting this down too. And I'm just going to build a rudimentary dirt hut to begin with. By... Uh, well, I'll, I'll show you. I'm going to start by building my crafting table, and then I'm going to build wooden a, a wooden pick, uh, pickaxe and <clears throat> tools. Just hold on. Do that. Get sticks. I need one more. Perfect. And I split that. A shovel and a pickaxe. Okay. Now that I've got that, I'm going to build the uh, same house design I use normally. It's a 5x6 or something. Uh, let's see, starting, I think, right here, sure. I'm basically going to start the game in general by digging out a 5x5. Five uh, tap mine all the way down to the bottom. The tap mine is just a 5x5 five five shaft with a little staircase left in the side so you can go up and down. And this dirt that I'm collecting right now I'll use to build the hut. Uh, and th this is just my play style if you have something else that you prefer to do obviously do it. This is just one of the more uh, quick and easy ways I've discovered to uh, set up shop. Okay, so now that I've got that, well, I'm going to get some stone too. Alright, coming along nicely. The, after you build the crafting table, and once you're done building whatever shelter you're going to use, the next focus is going to be uh, torches. Normally what I do is I just <clears throat> I burn some wood in the furnace to get uh, charcoal, and then I just make torches out of that. So what I'll do is I'll build my... I'm going to build the hut first. So set that up. I guess I was wrong. It's six by seven. Or, yeah, I mixed this up. Whoops. Uh, this hut is small enough to not require a lot of initial resources, but it's still large enough to house enough uh, storage and uh, just stuff in general. And actually, it's already getting dark out, so. 
kind of sucks. I wasted a lot of the first day to try and find the right spot to build. Whatever. Alright, so I'll come down here. Uh, I'm going to convert all this into wood. I'm going to make a door and a pressure plate to kind of create an automatically sealing doorway Whoops, uh, for the entrance to the hut. It'll close itself whenever I come in to it like that. And then real quick, before it gets to be totally dark out, I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to plant all of the plants I had. So, oh crap, I'm going to plant the flax there, and then wait for those to, there we go, okay. That's good, and now we're we're on the right track. I'm gonna make a bed quick too, just so I have one if I need it. I'm not planning on using it, like I said, but it's there. Uh, here's my furnace, which I'm going to just put right there. And these are both in the completely wrong positions now that I think about it. I like to save space for chests in this area so these are supposed to be like right here and here so now I'm going to burn that with two pieces of wooden planks and in the meantime I'm going to make some uh, tools I guess I can only make one stone pickaxe right now, but I'm going to use it for a little bit, I think. Actually, I'm going to get a shovel, too. So that I can clear out all this dirt. So now that I've set up shop and I'm going to have this place properly lit, my next focus is going to be trying to gather uh, the materials to build the basic machinery. Normally what I like to focus on first is building a, uh, a macerator with a generator. Obviously those are the first two things you should build uh, with industrial craft loaded because a macerator automatically doubles the amount of resources you get from the basic ores. Uh, I'm going to run outside quick and plant that. There we go. <clears throat> and I'm going to cook these too. Okay, so, like I was saying, Mace Raider first, so I'm just going to focus on digging out this area and collecting the ore that's below. Uh, normally, you'll get a fair amount of iron up at the higher levels, that's where it tends to just be, along with copper. The further down you go, you get, you know, the other resources, like the gold, lapis, uh, tin, so on and so forth. So, yeah, there's some coal right there. <clears throat> uh, just realized I'm playing it on peaceful. The uh, entities marked on the map there aren't a normal multiplayer thing, so don't real uh, try not to rely on those if you do this stuff in single player for a little while, because it won't help you if you go online. Oh look, copper already. Uh, once daytime rolls around again, I'll go collect some of the uh, resin that I need to create the copper wire, the insulated wire for the machinery. To make a macerator, you need a copper circuit, a bunch of flint, some cobblestone, and a machine block. A machine block is just a bunch of iron that's been refined, but the uh, circuit is refined iron, a bunch of copper wire, and then some redstone. So 
I won't be able to build the machinery I need until I get down to the redstone levels, which happen to be pretty low. Uh, same thing goes for the generator. The generator is made of uh, a, f a furnace, iron, like refined iron, and then a battery, which requires tin, copper wire, and redstone. So I have to wait until I get down to the lower levels to get any of that. But for now, I'm just going to stockpile these resources. Oops. And go make more tools, I guess. Uh, take this. I'm going to make some more torches, which I'll need. I'm going to make a sword, which I'll need. And then I'm going to sort my inventory a little bit. Make a bunch of cobblestone picks. Alright. Ready to go. sound so I keep forgetting to turn it on for these videos. Uh, the coal I'm collecting isn't really that necessary because you can burn, uh, you know, you can turn the uh, coal into charcoal and use it for sticks and stuff, but it is useful for coal dust, which is needed to make solar panels, as well as a couple of other things. Otherwise, I'd just look past it because I really don't need it that much. Um, I'm going to seal off these holes in the walls. This is just normal practice of mine. That was the uh, sunrise indicator. Or something. I just I'm watching some of these entities just die away. So I'll probably head up, head up, and s well, kill those spiders that are trying to get at me. Uh, they're they're climbing on top of the hut right now. I'm sure, and they're just gonna attack me as soon as I go outside, so I'll take care of that, but <clears throat> wow, this is pretty scarce so far. Oh, speak of the devil. That right there is sapphire. Um, you can use it for pretty much just for tools. It acts like uh, diamond for the most part. It just has a limited, a much more limited number of uses. There's sapphire, emerald, and ruby that have been added. They're parts of uh, red power. So, oh, there's some iron. That's nice. And some more iron. We're on a roll. Okay, let's see where this goes. some ruby. Alright. Oh, okay. Um, 
yeah, the gemstones and as well as gold and uh, redstone and a couple other materials just can't be collected. but I'm gonna have to cook some of the iron without macerating it. Obviously you have to do that before you get any of your tools. But uh, turn that down. Alright. This is a tree tap which I need in order to get the rubber from these rubber trees. The rubber trees look have this kind of like leaf shape to them. So what I'm actually gonna do is break the leaves first. Break the leaves first because they don't actually need the leaves to grow the sap. This is a sap spot. You'll find any number of them on the on each of the trees. Just right click on it with the tree tap and it'll give you some sap or resin. circuit you make needs, uh, before you get an extractor, you'll need, uh, six, you only get a one for one, uh, trade when you cook the resin into rubber, so you'll need six resin for each circuit and one for each battery, so in order to make a generator and a macerator, I need one circuit and one battery. That's a total of seven wire, so I should be good with what I've got. However, I'm gonna look at this tree because I know it's got the two spots right here. Just do that. Uh, the wood planks have a burn ratio of 1.5, meaning they'll burn 1.5 items for each uh, plank you put into a furnace. So I do them in batches of, uh, in increments of three. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna make my iron pickaxe, which I need for the gems, and I'm gonna head down here for a little bit. Huh. All right, so in order to make the generator macerator combo, I'm going to need, let's see, eight, sixteen, seventeen. I believe 17 iron and then various other resources. Iron is the big one there though. So I'm gonna move my iron over here so I can watch it as I mine it. Looks like 
there might be a ravine or something down here with all those monsters over that way. Or a cave system, I mean. That right there, out of the corner of my eye, is some tin, which I will need for the batteries. And it looks like it's an abandoned mine shaft that I found, which is not pleasant. But whatever. I suppose I'll take advantage of this opportunity to <laughs> Alright, so I just got poisoned by cave spider and I'm going to seal off this bit of this place. Uh this is an abandoned mine shaft for those of you who don't know, and that means that there are both very good and very terrible things here. And I keep getting attacked by creepers, so that makes it a terrible thing. Um, I'm gonna kind of dig a little walkway down to the next level and probably end up sealing it off. Ah. These mine shafts typically are good for resource collection because they have a lot of resources that are just exposed in the walls, but they're also kind of dangerous. So, but that's all the tin I'll pretty much need ever, well, short term at least. It's a good thing that thing can't climb that. This, right here, is uranium, which I won't use in this video, but I'll probably go over in a later primer. Um, collect this iron, which I so desperately need. And then, let's see what's this way. Uh, copper. The spiders are irritating. Yeah, that thing that attacked me is a cave spider, and they are poisonous, and there's also a spawner for them that's like right above me here, which is why they keep making all of that right there. And I just got lucky. That was a chest, which I'm gonna ditch this. store stuff. This is the end of day two, and I'm still not very far along, but it looks like with the with that uh, mine shaft being exposed, I'll be able to get all the resources I need to complete this stuff. And those things are really kind of getting on my nerves. Oops. I like the xylophone noise the uh, skeletons make, if you'd call it that. I'm gonna keep ore over here. 
you're gonna keep the iron on me so that I can uh, keep a count of it. Except for that, well, I guess 19. I guess I have enough. I think. Let's see. For that. Yep, looks like it. So I will make my machines now, I guess. Oh, I found silver too, apparently. Alright. I'll probably need that to cook the resources. So. And since I'll need it anyways, I'm just gonna make a second generate a uh, second uh, furnace right now to cook stuff in. So that I can try to expedite this process because I'm running behind. Cobblestone is pretty easy to find. And I have to re smell this anyways. So. Um shoot. Yeah, that's another thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back down here for a little bit, because I need I still need uh, gravel or flint for the rest of the uh, macerator stuff, which, you know, happens to be right here, so I'm just gonna grab three pieces of it, really, is all I need. Because if you need flint, you can just take a gravel piece and continue to break it and place it and break it and place it. It has a certain percentage chance of turning into flint. So, I'll come back up here, monitor these things, and... Uh, oops. out and put the tin back in and go back to this and put some wood in there. There we go. Got that. Take some that and that. Hey zombie. What's up man? Not much, apparently. Alright. Uh, yes. So, my resources are going to be piled over on that side of my inventory. Alright, got the So, I'm going to make a battery first. Actually, I'm going to make my wire. Douchebag. That's cool. Interesting. <laughs> well, that kind of sucked. But whatever. I was pretty sure the uh, zombie was going to break my door down regardless, so... I guess now I just need to patch up the house quick, and then once I'm done with that, I will 
Yeah, that's one of the caveats of building with dirt is your structures are going to be flimsy. On the bright side, it looks like I'm almost ready to actually here. See if I can get that. I'm just gonna patch the rest of it up with stone. I should have done this in the first place. Okay, where's my chest? I lost it, apparently. Awesome. Okay, so you can all just go in there. Don't need you. Here, collect the rest of the stuff that fell, which shouldn't have been a lot. I guess they just destroyed that chest. That sucks. Oh well. So this is the third day, I believe now, the third full day. So I'm gonna replace my bed, replace the door. And place a pressure plate. Uh, place my crafting table too. Totally forgot about that. All right, back to oh, nice. Um, sure. There. Okay, whatever. Back to this. There's the rest of my iron, and that's pretty much it. So. I'm going to take my copper cable and apply the insulation. This is shapeless crafting, so you can put it anywhere in the table. Uh, I made 12 just because I need 7, and you get the wire in increments of 6. Uh, I'm going to make two machine blocks, which are these. And now I'm going to make one of the circuits which is that just like that and I'm gonna make a battery which is that and now I'm going to make my macerator which that's wrong yeah I'm getting this mixed up bear with me here is that it's kind of like a paw or something. And then we have our generator, which is best made using a furnace. Which, since I've got six, I've got three of them, I'm just going to repurpose one. So it's that with a machine block on top and a battery. Ta da! So now I'll place these. I'm just going to stick them right here because whatever. And the generator, you can put anything that would normally burn in a furnace in this slot. It'll generate energy, which is stored both in attached local storage. The macerator has a personal, uh, personal storage right there. And after that, it'll go into the generator's storage. So, uh, just a quick demo before I wrap it up. Uh, I'll just take my iron and I'll put it into the macerator. You'll see it gradually slide along there, completing the generator battery storage. And apparently the sound broke or something. But you eventually get iron dust, which when smelted gives you iron bars. I, 
guess the sound bite is only so long. So yeah, iron bars. And that's pretty much it. That's uh, basic survival. Now you've got food. You've got a mine that'll go down to bedrock here. Uh, and then you've got two of the most basic machines. So... I'll cut the video here.